There is a woman, we don't know her name. She is 17 years old. She is a Central American immigrant who crossed the border without documentation. She is, she asked a three judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals, District of Columbia, to order the federal government to let her obtain an abortion. She has been seeking this abortion for over a month now. The appeals court uh, panel gave the Department of Health and Human Services 11 days to find a sponsor to take custody of the girl. The government is opposing the request. She realized she was uh, pregnant around the time that she was detained shortly after crossing the border. Listen to how the Washington Post describes this. She is currently being held in a government-funded shelter in South Texas run by a private contractor. So she's being held against her will in a government-funded shelter. That's so nice of the government to fund a shelter that's run by a private contractor. Oh, there's another uh, word for that. Private concentration camp? Is that what we call that? Yeah, quite literally. Private detention center? You say it in a German accent. Pro-life. A government-funded shelter. Oh, that's so sweet. That is holding her there. I don't think you, I, don't, I think definitionally a shelter is something that you seek, not necessarily that you're held at. The teen has permission from a state judge to obtain an abortion, but Trump administration officials have refused to allow anyone to transport her to the clinic. They are literally preventing her from exercising a legal right that she has. Trump's government says it has a policy of refusing to facilitate abortions for undocumented minors. The Obama administration uh, allowed them. There is a well-settled Supreme Court precedent that holds that the government may not impose an undue burden on or completely block a woman's ability to obtain an abortion. They are not allowed to do this. The Justice Department also reiterated the government's view that the teen could solve the problem herself by voluntarily having the United States, leaving the United States and seeking to terminate her pregnancy elsewhere. Okay? But wait, it gets worse. Because the government acknowledged just Friday that the country where she would be deported to, abortion is illegal. Here is a clip of um, her attorney, I guess, right, on uh, MSNBC. This is uh, crazy. If this story is just, it's just nuts. This is forcing a woman to have a child. To allow her to be transported by anyone to the abortion facility. As a result, she's being held hostage by the federal government and she's not allowed to access her constitutional rights. I knew at one point her parents were involved. Her parents were, were, were contacted. What happened there? Her parents in her home country were contacted, which also is just unbelievable. Uh, she suffered abuse at the hands of her parents in her home country. Mm -hmm. And nevertheless, the federal government contacted them and told them about her pregnancy. This is extremely dangerous for young women who are already um, abused at the hands of their parents for the government to be telling them confidential information that could further damage that relationship. And at one point, the government said, we're not saying that she can't necessarily get an abortion. She could always return to her. 
her own home country to get one if she wanted to, which is absolutely absurd. Nobody should have to choose between facing, going back to their home country, facing abuse in their home country, and exercising their constitutional rights. She's here in the United States, she has constitutional rights, and the government is denying her. I want to read part of another email uh, from Lloyd telling staff that, quote, the unborn child is a child in our care, and also says a pregnant girl should be prevented from meeting with her attorney or going to a judge. Prevented from meeting with an attorney or going to a judge. That's right. Scott Lloyd wants to authorize every single step in the way of any sort of abortion process. He wants to be able to say yes or no to the ultimate abortion decision, and the Supreme Court has said that that is blatantly unconstitutional. No one can have a veto power over another person's abortion decision. All right, we're going to stay with this. Virginia Mary, thank you. And I would remind you that her home country uh, abortion is illegal. And before any dum-dums call in to uh, say, how can she have constitutional rights uh, when she's not a citizen of the United States? And before any dum-dums write it in any comment section. You're do a little Googling. A lot of dum yes, platforms do here. a little Googling, do a little reading. She's in this country. She is afforded constitutional rights. So um, if you don't like it, then leave this country and find a different constitution. That's right. Um, this is sick. And, you know, this is the way that precedents get created, too. Isn't that the what The government doing is it? protecting the unborn child. Isn't that why they're doing it? Uh, I would imagine it's a twofer. Her, I, think it's a, I think it's a twofer. I mean, again, I think they're doing everything they can to scare and terrorize immigrants in this country. Yes. They're, doing, they're doing everything they can to be as draconian as possible. But yes, this is a twofer. If they could get a Supreme, a, 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 you know, a circuit court, three-judge panel, if they could get a full circuit court, three-judge panel could just be three uh, conservative justices picked by Republicans which is what happens when you elect a Republican, just as a reminder. The full uh, D.C. Circuit Court is um, still uh, mostly picked by a Democrat. So they tend to not be as uh, horrific as this. But would that set a precedent? They certainly would try. They would certainly try to have it. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.